Staying with us, so there's an interesting story on social media about a dancer, Cora Obidi, um, concerning her recent fight uh, with her spouse. And I think what made it interesting was the fact that her spouse went live whilst we're having an argument. To make it worse, I think he's also asking for a divorce, saying that um, she's narcissistic. Now, there are different angles to this story. And as I said, we don't like talking about people too much on this show. We just like to elicit learning so that as, as we go through life, mm. we can pick a few lessons here and there. And one of the, one of the factors we like to talk about is the, the fact that a, a, a spouse can actually go live while you're having that intimate um, situation of a fight. You know, fighting can be quite intimate, where yes. there, are, there are personal things being said, things you're likely going to regret, mm -hmm. but you know it's just between A and B. Mm -hmm. For the moment, um, a third party is coming, not just third parties. Mm. <laughs> a full public a full of online public, judges. Yes, mm. yes mm. thank you. A full public of online judges. Come mm. on, and they're watching you. And the other person is not aware. Mm. Mm. Now, is that the new world we're living in, where that's a possibility? Or does it still come across as disrespectful? The way to go about private fights like that is to give it time. We've seen the worst of marriages that someone would have said, this marriage will not make it. And you mm. see the couples doing well later because mm -hmm. they matured over their differences. Yeah. Whatever they're going through now does not deserve public judgment, which is what he's been petty about putting it out there. I'm not saying she's an angel. I'm not saying she is, she's perfect. But if this does not come up as part of evidence, maybe in court or something, because couples fight every day and yeah. sometimes don't mean the things they say to each other, which is why our parents will say to us that when you have a fight with your spouse, don't go and tell anybody because you will forget the, the bad times. But the person that is helping you will never forget yeah. it. Carry it on. People need to understand that social media does not have your best interest at heart. The court of public judges are there to be entertained. Mm. They are frustrated with their own personal problems that they are going through. Mm. They see your gist as entertainment. Mm. So if you have this at the back of your mind, if you have a problem with your spouse, as much as you can resolve it between the two of you, resolve it. I'm going to be 14 years in this marriage. I have never called an outside person to resolve me and my husband because we agreed that if you know that you are not divorcing, you know that you are not marrying another person, Whatever we have between us, let us sort it out. If we need to carry that face for two weeks, three weeks, let us carry it. It's between us. So hmm. we're not go do you plan to go anywhere? I say no. You, do you plan to go anywhere? I say no, I don't have money to marry another hmm. person. We have to <laughs> sort it. Hmm. So we can quarrel and twist and do hmm. one as long as it doesn't hit hard on our deal breakers. For me, abuse is a deal breaker. So even if I don't say what to anybody, I'll carry my bag and I will go mm. because that is my deal breaker. But as long as it's an issue that we can still find a way, because the truth is, like Mary, uh, Nima said, and we were told growing up, by the time you have forgiven your spouse, your family members will not forgive that spouse. Mm. They will hold it. You are the one that treated our daughter this way. Mm. Not to talk of online judge and jury that don't like you in the first place. They don't care about your success. They are just there to collect gist, entertain themselves, and move on. True. And you give them your story. Tomorrow, when you move on, years back, they will play it and mm. use it against yeah. you. Can you forgive this if your spouse goes live when you're doing a very intimate fight? Hi. Does, does, that, does that mean deception to you? Or does it mean, is it something that we can go past? Go, hey, listen, this is what everybody it does. She, he just did it casually. He didn't mean it that way. I can still forgive and move on. Can she really forgive this? Or is this a, could this be a deal breaker? For me, this will be a deal breaker. This will hurt me so bad. Mm. I'm just imagining Mr. Longer going online and putting <laughs> it will be the end. For me, it would mean that this is over. I just can't imagine it. But then I'm thinking of our children. Our children are growing mm. up in a different world. Mm. Hmm. We need to do something quickly to regulate social media. Thank you. Because I'm afraid of marriages becoming big brother houses. Simple. Reality where we're, shows. Yes, Absolutely. reality shows. Our children are in their marriages and then the whole world can tell what is going on because mm -hmm. we show everything now from um, when we wake up to when we go to bed. But there are also social media people. So maybe for them, they'll be able to find a way around, uh, around this. They may be able to forgive mm -hmm. each other. But if it were to happen to me with my old school ways and my privacy <laughs> ways, it will, con it will completely destroy me. Mm -hmm. Now these people have children. Imagine the baby that is being breastfed now. That baby finds out. At the time of my birth, this was the drama. 
to the point my father went live. The children will still also have to deal with the consequence of this. Mm. Sometimes at the point of that anger, it seems like unforgivable, the death of it all. Everything don't end, I go die here. But give it time. Life will adjust, time will heal, and you will move past it and look back and say, ah, it really wasn't that bad. Yeah. Because you have other things to be thankful for. Mm. You don't have to be married to that spouse, but don't kill yourself or use a sword to attack that fight because the other sharp end will cut you as well. Mm. <laughs> so because of the way social media is going, mm. in raising our children, let us try and let them understand that some things must mm. be private. Mm. As public as I am, Mm. As I show when I go on vacation, mm. when I'm eating salad, I'm eating yeah. this, I'm doing this, I'm dancing and all yeah, of that. Not I've never show, have you ever seen when I'm quarreling with my husband? Never. Does that mean I don't quarrel? <laughs> I quarrel. <laughs> but I know that that is private. private. Because by the time we resolve ourselves, you people Ooh. will not understand. Mm. You will not see him and say, hey, even that one that will be forming. They are, they are not even happy. They are, oh, it's not your business <laughs> what I do in my home. Yeah. If I'm tired, I carry my bags and I go. Mm. And you will not hear me, Kim. Mm. I will not explain to anybody. You know why? There's dignity in silence. Yes, There's dignity in discretion.